I mean, if you really think about it, internet's made it so easy for people to reach out and be helpful anywhere. Places like Kickstarter has made it easy to, you know, for us, you know, to a certain aspect, uh, aspect of it, where we can go go to Kickstarter and put up a comic book, uh, you know, with created by a bunch of uh, creative people, and then put it out there, and now then that comic becomes funded by anybody around the world who's interested in it. Now, sadly, uh, you know, it doesn't always uh, deliver the way you you think it will. And because there's so many comics out there, and then the worst thing right now, and a lot of people have, you know, are starting to talk about this now, especially indie creators about the, the um, you know, how AI is coming into it, where people are basically just either, um, you know, regurgit, you know, putting prompts in and regurgitating uh, comic pages and then selling it as if it's a new comic book without telling people it's AI. And then you got people like myself and yourself with Rising Sun and all the amazing creators there putting up comics and then not getting even eyes to it because they go, oh, well, that's a, you know, that's not as good as that AI comic. You know, that doesn't look like a Jim Lee comic. It's like, yeah, but Jim Lee didn't do that comic. That's somebody else is ripping off Jim Lee, you know, to do, you know, to use his art style to cre create those pages. So where do you, you know, uh, what do you think about that? You know, the idea of like um, Kickstarter and how um, not only like the big, big creators coming to it from the mainstream, but also AI comics now being like raising $20,000 US when a comic book created by say an indie creator can't even reach $500. Now, AI, co AI comics is something totally, totally different. Hmm. AI comics should not be supported. Should not. He here's the reason why. And I explored AI a little bit. And I I've talked about this at length. And I wanted AI to help. Like, like if we had a comic and we were drawing it and inking it, and we do everything old we traditional at this point or not fully traditional but some of some people work digitally but still nothing is ai right. um and i thought well okay what if what if we explored the idea of doing ai comics so we kind of looked around into it a little bit just uh, i did playing around just me no one else just me and i looked around it a little bit and i thought well ai would be wonderful if it could help you do tasks that make mm -hmm. the work flow smoother right if that if that were the case but that isn't the case is it that isn't what it really does and i'm going to be clear when you put it in chat gbt gpt and you put in the prompts and you ask it to write you something or or, or whatever or any one of these it is going to fully write something for you it's not right. helping you write it it is just right. doing it for you that's not you being creative that's you manipulating an algorithm or a system mm. for an output. That's not you being creative. You, the, you, you didn't pot, come up that head and that out of your head. You didn't. It wasn't an amalgamation of your your experiences as a personal being that that solved yeah. that problem. That was a computer that took it from someone else and lived out of their life. Mm. That was you know and put it on paper. That's what happened, and that's the same thing with art. It's not creating original art, is it? It's not. No. It would be great if it were helping you achieve the goal. And I thought like, well, how can it help me achieve the goal? Maybe if it could do flatting, right? Maybe if it could flat mm. the pages, then I could hand them off to a colorist and the colorist could do their magic on it. And if you guys don't know what flatting is, flatting is the stage before you get to coloring, okay? Mm. You have inking and then it goes flatting and then it goes coloring. Excuse me. And I thought, okay, well, let me explore this. Every every program I had, I put it in. All it wanted to do was color the page. Right. Right? That's all it wanted to do was just color the page. It couldn't flat. It, it was impossible for it to flat. But it could color the page. And I'm like, well, I don't really want that. I don't want to pass off this as you know, as uh, it's not really helping me. And it's coloring job, let's face it, in my opinion, is kind of poor. It's a poor coloring job. It's not really a good, it doesn't wow you. It's not, it's not well understanding human form, nor does it, I know, you know, I just, it's just not there. 
So AI comics. I don't think that they should be supported. And I think that this is a really bad idea for AI books on Kickstarter to be supported and AI books to be supported at all. Yeah. I think that you're feeding. We all know the story of two wolves, right? You know the story of two wolves? Yeah. You know, there's two wolves. One is, you know, one is uh, anger, depression and you know all the dark things in the world the other one's happiness and joy and and all uh, and all of that and both these two wolves are out one another which wolf wins it's the trapped it's the ones trapped inside you which one wins yeah it's the one you feed that's the wolf that wins is the one you feed so if you keep feeding ai books on indiegogo it will win yeah and that's that simple it really is that simple. You're putting your money to a computer, not to an artist. And that's why I don't think it should be supported. And I, I don't mind an AI cover every now and then. An AI cover, okay, fine. Maybe, maybe you can squeeze by with some stuff. But fully AI books that you're supporting with Kickstarter campaigns that are really raking in the money, I don't think that that's good. And I don't think that you as a consumer should really spend your money that way. Obviously, it's your money and you could spend it as you see fit. But I just don't think it's good for the industry and it's not good for comics in a whole. And I really want you guys to think about where you're spending money and why you're spending it. Is this an AI generated? Now I'm book? showing this. No, no, I'm showing this because you were talking about flatting before. So this is some flats this guy's worked on. He was just showing. So, so for people who don't know, you know, what flatting is, this is just like your your base color, and you know, to um, dif differentiate between all the other stuff. So you can see how how cool this is, where he's doing all the different color schemes, you know, and sort of setting up between you know what the colorist will now go and put tones on. To kind of like make it more realistic looking so you can see here how he's working at this and so this is really cool you know and i mean there is a lot of uh, art to it as well you know we look at how 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 much you know how full this page is by indie creator and then you look at how much the colorist is you know the flatter has gone in to change everything to make it all stand out you know this is human created app you know and you can see how how it's got this real natural feel to it and you can tell it straight away because it looks real to you right everything sort of flows right and i think a lot of times uh you know with ai art you you know i mean it is getting to a point where you can't tell because they've been you know they keep fixing and keep fixing the code the coding of it but like you know it's just just the way the faces are set up the natural look to it you know you can always tell when someone's hand drawn something to when someone's like really bad at art, right? But or if it's AI. So, you know, the anatomy here is perfect. Look at, you know, just the way everything's sort of like set up to make it look, you know, natural. And that's something that like, you know, AI doesn't, it's, it's unnatural. It's not something, you know, it's taken from all this and then, you know, created something else from that. So this is a group on Facebook called, um, you know, Artists Against um, Generative AI. Mm. So I'm going to put that in the link if you guys want to um, check that page out because there's a lot of people talking about this. There, uh, artists from like painters to comic artists to various, you know, various uh, facets of the art industry, right? Um, well, uh, and creative and, and, industry, and, I should say. And a lot of people don't realize that that in order for AI to do what it's doing. It is stealing art to yeah. do it. It is right. taking freely art of other people and manipulating it to make something mm -hmm. something similar. This is this is uh, Mallory M J Trinkle. She's you know, I guess this is she. Uh, just showing you a movement of you know animation. You know, is it, you know, here's a creative person just showing how everything naturally moves. 
and then there's the other one she's got here you know then the line right so that was a blue line just sort of sketching planning and then this is the actual ink version and the stages of creation this is all that, like when you go to ai you don't get all the stage you just get the final product that's regurgitated from somebody else's work and here she's you know with the colors and then you get the that same you know sort of like completed now that whole thing and then also here you got a uh, you got a little cat in the background there as well let's see if there's anything else nope that was the last one so yeah you, know, you can see how creating art you know and that's a, and all this when it goes to ai there's gone there's none of this learning period there's no sort of honing a skill there's not learning why that movement is there why you know why this natural movement is in that you know in that animation or just in the natural movement in that you know that that, uh, that um comic book why that looks that way you know and so why everything comes together and so it's kind of like you know you've got um recently there was like people tracing other people's work and selling it all over the world you know the so let's have a look i'm not sure how long this i don't is. know if you realize this but a lot of the books being read and right so here's a five minute now or at least uh the great fiction of ai all right so and i'll finish with this one and then we'll we'll go and talk about our comics Kakitiano, be well and catch you later